Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Ryo Ishida.、Uh, I'm in、uh, charge in、uh, esports、uh, Arc System Works. Hi, my name is Junior Ferreira, and、uh, I'm the esports manager for Arc System Works America. So, this is a phenomenal occasion for Arc System Works. It's the return to physical esports for the first time since 20, well, one of the first times since 2019. Evo is back. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive is here. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is here. What is it like to return to physical competition at Evo?、Uh, we have you know,、uh, many concerns about uh, holding uh, such an you know, offline event in the situation、uh, where the, fu the future of the、uh, infection was uncertain.、Uh, there are many users of titles released after 2020. Who had never met other players in person or played offline. So we felt that an offline event was necessary in order to get them、uh, to take a l o o t in the user community.、Uh, so we decided to hold this you know, event in this format、uh, while taking、uh, safety into consideration. That makes sense? Yes. <laughs> And don't worry, we have a good. Right, actually, so you are.、Uh, Your the question was for Evo, but you know, our original、uh, answer was entire Arc World Tour, right? But、uh, I, I changed my word from、right. Arc World Tour to Evo offering event. It's been such a long time. Like, we,、uh, we, had, we had events earlier this year. We had like Combo Breaker, we had Red Bull Kumite, which was a huge thing. And then, of course, before that, it was like a long stretch back in 2019. Has,、uh, can you speak to anything that the team has learned as far as competition goes, lessons learned from the pandemic, moving, having to, being forced to move to an online、uh, format, and then finally coming back to physical format? In 2022, a number of offline events were cancelled due to a pandemic. We also had to abandon the Arc World Tour 2020. That We had planned to hold. We feel that the demand for online tournaments and game streaming has increased、uh, dramatically as a result of the cancellation of offline events. Good job, I will do that. Okay.、Uh, okay. Online tournaments have many advantages,、uh, such as the ability to participate from home. And play in your usual environment. But there is also a problem、uh, that is difficult to、uh, produce the live atmosphere and enthusiasm of an、uh, offline of event.、Uh, while we are now focusing more than even on the、uh, delivery and the creative production of online tournament, we have also r e f i r m e d the、uh, importance of offline e v e n t Uh, what's the result of the creation of online and offline、uh, options? I believe that the rollback netcode、uh, implemented in Guilty Gear Strive and other games has、uh, contributed greatly to online competition as a technology、uh, that makes network、uh, much more comfortable. Coming off of the pandemic, what was it like being able to finally bring Guilty Gear Strive? To physical tournaments with Red Bull Kumite and, and Combo Breaker, and now here at Evo 2022. It's an honor to have GGST adopted by such high profile, large scale events、uh, like this, and to have so many people participate. When I see players、uh, competing against each other face to face basis, I once again feel the advantage that only offline events can offer. And,、uh, and of course, y'all just launched、uh, DNF Duel with, the, with、uh, Nexon. And now it's going to be in Arc Revo. Like, how excited have you been to bring another game like DNF Duel into the competition with Arc Revo alongside Guilty Gear Strive? Okay, how we do that? The Arc System Works Tanks is a possibility to make various fighting games titles into competitive events.、Uh, in the past, Uh, we have held tournaments for titles such as P4U2 and GV、uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. 
uh, which were developed by us and published by IP, each IP holders. Uh, by bringing together users of multiple uh, titles, uh, we hope to uh, encourage communication uh, among users that transcends titles and encourages interest in each other's titles as well. What is, what, uh, how do you uh, approach the current ecosystem of, of balancing characters across your games, uh, deciding who needs to become stronger, who needs to be pulled back a little bit, and the tweaks and, and uh, touches you do to the overall game as a whole? That's a tough one. Okay, uh, we care about the players in competitive scene, but we care just as much about the users who do not participate in the competitions. We do not want to see balance adjustment made in the middle of the event, such as quali uh, qualification tournament that uh, last for a long period of the time, uh, causing a change in the environment. It would be a real disadvantage if players could not play against each other on a regular basis. So we may implement balance adjustment from time to time to maintain active users or to deal with the problem uh, that cannot be overlooked. Of course, we will carefully consider the timing of the adjustment, taking into account the schedule of the tournament. Our Grievo has really kind of transformed over the years. Uh, it's you all started with uh, with Guilty Gear Xrd and uh, and Dragon Ball Fighters. You have come come through a pandemic. How do you feel about the evolution of Arc Revo from where it began to where it is now? I think we're at a very important stage in our development series as well as, a, as us as a studio where we're at a point where we can take things to the next level. And on that topic, uh, we like to take a look at what our competitors have done over the years as well with their Arc World, not Arc World Tours, but their World Tours. And we want to uh, bring new ideas and fresh uh, I guess experiences for the players in our current Arc World Tour. So we're bringing all of that and more as we develop the tour stops and finally uh, Arc World Tour finals in March. Okay, so let me uh, answer his draft as well. So Axis Works has been closely associated with offline gaming competition since before the time esports was uh, created. Uh, for the past 10 years, we have held our own competition called Arc Rebo. Uh, we have been holding this uh, competition for various titles, including Blaze Blue and the Guilty Gear series. The platform at that time was Arcade. In 2015, we held Arc Rebo on a consumer platform using PlayStation, and we continue to hold the event every year while exploring a format that fit the time and needs. The turning point came in 2018. Until then, uh, most of Arc System Works fighting game titles were first released in arcade, and only Japanese players were able to play them before other regions. Also, at that time, there was not much sharing playing uh, te techniques and uh, uh, research by uh, internet. So, ASW tournaments were often dominated by Japanese players in top eight, even overseas. What changed this environment was Brave Blue Cross Tag Battle, the late, latest title in the Brave Blue series at the time, uh, which was released simultaneously around the world in conjunction with this. We hosted first ever World Tournament Arc Rebo World Tour with qualifiers held in 19 locations around the world and the final in California. This year uh, marked the beginning of the globalization of ASW esports with the players from North America and various other regions competing in the tournament. That last thing you mentioned is so very important. We have players from all over the world here. And not only that, Arc Revo does tournaments that are, that it's got European Arc Revo, Latin America, you have 
you cater to so many re regions now. What has it been like to, to expand Arc Revo to regions where players around the world are like sort of breaking out and bringing their tech to the world stage? I think a lot of that, uh, I think we learned a lot of the importance of a more global community during the pandemic. And so we're going to take all of that into consideration with our current Arc World Tour, as well as all future Arc World Tours to expand into those regions that you mentioned and do more events to encompass our global community instead of just very specific popular regions. So it's something that we're definitely looking into and we're very excited to be able to bring more events to more people around the world. Kiyuki for his draft. Currently, uh, we feel that we have not yet been able to provide an equal competitive scene in all regions of the world. We would like to bring esports to regional regions that have not yet hosted at AWT qualification tournament in the future. Uh, to this end, we believe that we can solve this problem if we can adapt the rules and uh, selecting finals, uh, finalists by away awarding points per region, which we are planning to adapt for AWT 2020. Mm, and if we can adapt to the Daredevil system again, a system that will draw on the help of the tournament organization around the world. And now for something a little bit more fun. Do you have a favorite moment that you can call to mind in Arc System Works uh, esports so far? Uh, I guess for me, one of the, so far, because I've only been here for a short amount of time, but so far one of my favorite moments is probably being in the table where we make the decisions on what we're doing for Arc World Tour and being able to provide uh, my opinion, not only as a, a competitor myself, but also as an, a, a person looking from the outside in and giving my perspective and uh, helping my region and our, the company that we work for uh, also look at other regions as we look forward to growing the Arc World Tour uh, into more regions. After all, it was a matchup between Oshige and Ogawa in the winner's final of Gigi Exert uh, at Evo 2015. Do you know? Yes. <laughs> it's a very famous moment? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it was an unpredictable event for the top player to miscount the number of round one but it happened because of the extreme tension of being on the stage at Evo uh, with a large audience uh, watching or flying. This is the something that neither the players nor the tournament organizers could have aimed for and it was a moment uh, that made me realize that there is a lot of drama and joy in the tournament. I was watching the event on TV and I envy those who were able to be there on that day. For how far Arc Revo has come and how far, with, with so many games out there right now and, and so much popularity in them, what comes next for Arc Revo? Like, where do you go from here? So our esports began in the Japanese arcade scene, it can continues to evolve as the environment changes and the technology advances. And while maintaining the uh, passion of competing in game arcade, we want to share the uh, invaluable expense uh, gained through fighting game competition with as many people around the world as possible in a new form suit to the uh, times. AWD 2020 is the one of our esports initiatives and we hope to provide you with a rich variety of events such as cross-border competitions and team competitions in addition to one-on-one. -on -one. We hope to provide a wide variety of events. Ah, sorry. Please keep an eye on Arc System Works esports activities in the future.